All right. So exciting day. Um, we're going to show off some work that has been in progress for uh, a few months now. So there was a working group that uh, Biology had formed to work on this new query experience, right? Providing a better experience for our customers. So um, this kicked off around the first part of February. February, March, and April was spent with a bunch of people getting pulled from their day jobs into Zoom meetings to talk about what we wanted to build and how we wanted to build it. We did things like reviewed um, uh, customer interviews um, and other types of feedback. Um, we went and we looked at competitive products um, and saw how other things were, other products were doing this um, and uh, worked to come up with kind of a design of what we wanted to have in our new query experience. Um, that was uh, February, March, April, um, May and June we actually uh, started coding it and, and working on it. And so we have something we're gonna show off today. This is uh, not something we're turning on for customers just yet. There's a few more things that we wanna add, some polishing and other things that we wanna do first when I added load save to the query experience um, and a couple of other things, but we are going to make it and uh, enable it for any of you that want to use it. And uh, we'd like to start getting your feedback on it. So you'll see in some of the internal environments, um, you know, this will get turned on later today. If you want to use it in any of your individual environments or in, in individual accounts, um, let me know and we can get, I can give you instructions for how to enable it or we can enable it for that org ID. Um, but what you will see is there is a new data explorer window or a toggle up here on the upper right hand part of the screen. So um this is basically the secret window that opens up this new experience to you and you can toggle back and forth until you're comfortable with the new experience so i'm going to toggle it on here and you'll see that it is completely different looking screen than what we had before this is intended to be a very instructional um interface to the user because one of the things that we did previously was we we basically hid flux from them right with the existing query builder that uh, we had um, in Data Explorer, if you went in, you wouldn't necessarily see any of the flux unless you uh, uh, switched over to the flux editor. But so often customers do need to make a, uh, a flux entry. And when they do, then that ends up being almost their first exposure to it. We want to expose them to the flux right away. So you'll see front and center, middle of the screen is the actual flux script. Um, on the left, you'll see a new feature, schema browser. Um, so there was a lot of complaints around, hey, I, I wanna see the shape of my data. I don't understand what elements it, there is. You could see a lot of that in the old data explorer, but it was a little confusing of how you would get to it. Here we tried to make it very hierarchical where they can go and select a bucket first. So they go in and, and um, they select a bucket and then they can um, select a measurement. So I'm just gonna wipe out what I have here before. I'm gonna say, oh, I want this uh, production uh, measurement and you can see that it built uh, the lines of flux for me. Maybe I want to add a filter. I want to add a filter here. I can do that and it'll add the line of flux for me. But you can see on the left here that it is organized hierarchically. So they understand, oh, I need to pick a bucket. Oh, I need to pick a, a measurement. And then I can uh, pick fields and tags. Um, if they have a long field or tag list, they can use the search box to find them. Um, if it's a long list, we'll show them a certain amount and then they can say show more. So we're not just automatically building a ridiculously long list. They can search or do show more to find them. Um, once they have their uh, Flux script ready, then they can um, just click on run like they could in any other. Um, by default, we're gonna show them the table view when they uh, do this. So um, before we always defaulted to visualization, now we're gonna re uh, default to the table view. Another thing that you'll find in this result view that's new and kind of neat is you can search the result set, right? You can filter even on the result set without having to redo your query. So um, if I wanted to look for things that had the value of 106, for, for instance, I could just type in that box and it would filter down that result set very quickly because it's, it's just what's already been downloaded to me um, and I can uh, filter it that way. So that's kind of a nice feature. Um, there's a download button, all, all the things that you're used to in the um, existing data explorer, um, or you can pick graph and you can customize the graph like you can in the existing data explorer. 
We still have the Flux uh, options here on the right. So you can go and you can browse or search for Flux functions and you can insert them um, just by clicking on them. And they will go over into the, uh, into the Flux window as well. The other thing that we're doing instructionally with this uh, interface is you can see we lay this out bucket measurement fields tags, but there's we also have information buttons here to help the new user that's coming into here that might not know what a bucket is. So we help them, um, they can hover over this and see some information that helps explain what these things are. So we're, the hope is that a new user will be quicker to onboard and get up and running and, and increase that time to awesome. Um, so um, that's what it's, uh, that's what it's, the, what, what we got. Um, hopefully you can play around with it and, um, you know, send any feedback my way that you uh, have with this. Um, I do, before I let everyone go, I did want to um, give some kudos to the, the team that worked on this because this was a lot of work. It was a, a big project. Um, Julia James was the uh, main um, UX, you know, the, the main product designer on this. Um, she did a great job. She got help from Tara and, and, and Daniel chimed in uh, as well. Um, Alex Boatwright, Ari Chunshan, Denise, um, from the uh, UI team, Jessica Bridges, when she was on that, um, uh, did a lot of work towards this. Um, Paul Hummer, Nathaniel, uh, Scott Anderson, um, Bology, um, just there was a number of people that were uh, involved with this. And uh, I think we've come up with something that uh, is pretty good. It's it's not complete. But there's a lot of polishing that uh, we need to do. We, we need to add load save. Um, and some other things, but um, it's a good start. Hoping that you'll play around with it and give us some feedback.